Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to activate new hard drives and SSDs that are not showing up on your computer. So if you were to go into, let's say, File Explorer here, and we opened it up, we see that we do have a local disk underneath this PC. We do have our one drive here. But let's say you added a new hard drive and it's not showing up underneath devices and drives. This brief tutorial should hopefully resolve this issue for you guys. So just to show you that it's going to work, I'm going to minimize out of this screen and we're going to come back to it in a little bit. And now we're going to open up the star menu and you want to type in partition. And the best match should hopefully come up underneath best match should say create and format hard disk partitions right above control panel. Left click on that. And it should take a second to so just be patient. Now, it's going to be a little bit different for you guys. If you have a new drive altogether put on here, you see that I have this one gigabyte unallocated up here. For most of you guys, if you've inserted a new drive, it's going to show up down here. It's not going to say CD-ROM, but there might be a disk one or disk two listed under here. Just follow the same steps that I'm going to be showing in this tutorial. It should be nearly, if not identical, to exactly what I'm going to be walking through for this area over here. So I currently have one gigabyte unallocated. But if you have a brand new hard drive, it's likely going to be close to a terabyte or 900, 950 gigabytes because it usually will maximize your space. There's going to be some space that isn't going to be represented here. But let's just say I have, this is my extra hard drive that I've just put in. So I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to left click on new simple volume. Again, it's going to be a black bar above it. You want to make sure you're selecting that one and you're not selecting your primary partition. So it's going to say, welcome to the new simple volume wizard. This wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk. Simple volume can only be on a single disk. To continue, click next. Now you want to make sure your size is going to be the same. So maximum disk size should be the same as simple volume size. Select next. And now you can assign a different drive letter. Usually people just go alphabetically, so if you already have a C and a D drive, the next one logically would be an E drive, but you can name it anything you want as long as it's not currently being used on the system. And then you want to select next. You want to make sure the file system type is set to NTFS. Don't change that. You want to keep that the same. You definitely do not want it to be a FAT or FAT32. And then once you've done that, you can also name this volume whatever you want. So you can name it, I don't know, I'm going to come up with a really uh, simple name here. I'm going to say example disk new drive. And that's going to be my name of what it's going to be called. And you want to make sure it says perform a quick format. Keep that checked in there. And then select next. And then select finish. It's going to say formatting. It will take a moment. Again, it's going to show up under here. More than likely, it's not going to show up on the side. And you might get a notification from Windows saying that it detected a new drive on your computer. And my drive happens to be called New Drive, so whatever your drive is now called, it's going to be replaced from this new drive that's on my screen right now. So you might be wondering if we close out a disk management and we open up the screen we were on before, we can see that we have our new drive already on here. So pretty nice very convenient and I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys activate a new hard drive. This tutorial is not showing you guys how to fix a hard drive that's not coming up anywhere. This is purely if you haven't set up your hard drive yet on your computer and you're just looking to allocate it so you have it accessible. So pretty straightforward tutorial and I do hope it was able to help you out. And as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.